Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are going to be playing Sam and Max Saves the World actually. This will be the fourth episode in the series, uh, Abraham Lincoln Must Die. Uh, we're going to be starting this one off real quick, but first don't forget to check out my Patreon page at patreon slash dot com slash ASRG where you can enter in, um, well, your donations will enter you into contests to win Steam Keys as well as just simply get producer credits depending on how much you're interested in helping me out. So if you'd like to see this channel continue to grow, Please help me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash ASRG. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we're going to be doing new stuff. Other than that, I think we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and get started in this one. In the previous one, by the way, we took down the Toy Mafia. That was what that was. And the little teaser at the end had somebody like a G-Man or something like that talking to uh, someone in his earpiece about us. So that was the ending sequence of the previous one. Anyway, let's continue. Or we'll go ahead and start. Oh. This is a cold opening, I guess. I am reborn. I will <laughs> feast on your entrails. And devour your soul. <laughs> you know, Max, sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, Commissioner. Uh, no, that was uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. <laughs> What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. Oof. We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max. We have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. Uh -oh. The President of the United States of America. Who? Oh, the man. man's gone Who? nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Exactly. Federal mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's That's about true. to introduce mandatory gun registration. Oh, forget that. Get the keys. Get the keys. <laughs> all right, I guess we're jumping straight into it this time. A nice blue background this time. I think it's not going to fade me out. Abe Lincoln must die. <laughs> I have to point good. out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called commander-in-chief. Yeah. Let's look around at everything there is to look at, though. <laughs> Whee! At least the president has his priorities straight. Yeah, golfing. Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine, anyway? Nothing. Weren't you listening? That's true. Hey, my missing boxing glove! It's always in the last place you look. <laughs> the White House pool, most secure waiting pool on earth. Jimmy Two Teeth. Jimmy? Oh great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R and R. Speaking of which, beat it. <laughs> Takes his vacations at the White House. All right. Whee! Always in my way. There is a small mailbox here. Ah, uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. Now that's government efficiency for you. <laughs> Your name here. 
for naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. That'd be kinda cool. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Oh yeah. Later, Max. Later. Not what we're doing here, but... No, no, no. Okay, let's go. I want to talk to Max. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der, rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical <laughs> violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinth and logical conundrums. Ah, that's usually what works. Violence. Good plan. Mm hmm. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police, here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Uh. Seriously, Jack, let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. Hmm, it's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. That's yeah. in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! <laughs> They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl! Huh. I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Ah, that would work, though. Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. Okay. They have you guys doing odd jobs, too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. <laughs> you really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. What else do you do besides guard this door? Varies. No, we've already heard that. Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation, protects the president. Oh, Super Bowl! I get it! Mm hmm, because he bounces. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. All right, all right. I'm going to find a this. way to get around Mama him. Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max, but these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Yeah, we don't need no grudges with the Secret Service. All right. Post no bills. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. <laughs> Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. <laughs> Valley parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. Oh yeah. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid five 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 phones. Yeah. Yes, actually, five 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 one nine eight four. Hey Sam, did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to one thousand decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write yeah, down right. the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> Alright, well it doesn't look like there's much else I can do. I'm gonna have to find a way to get him away from the door. I'm thinking the best way to do that is to maybe get back to our office and give him a call. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Back to the office. I'll drive! Not while I'm alive. Exactly! Let's do our usual, uh, 
before we make this quick phone call and everything, go and see what Sybil's up to this time around. Love is for everyone. A dating service, huh? Alright. This should be interesting. <laughs> she changed the fox hey, to look Sybil. like Cupid. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating <laughs> service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Well, I isn't too hard. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're <laughs> borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. Yeah. You gotta make sure they're full psychopath or not. What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn on. Mm hmm. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. <laughs> Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? <laughs> I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened. I guess. They must have. Somewhere. I'm choosing Dang. not to be offended by that. Right. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. Oh, okay. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. Okay. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let I me help see. you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. I think we're ahead of ourselves in this situation. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Disturbing. <laughs> And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is Wait for it. Max. Max. What well, do you there know? Goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey Sam, what do you say we never ever speak of this again? Yeah. We ahead of you a little bit. So we need it for this mission. Uh, let's see. What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? I have no I'll idea, but you seem to find Good new point. stuff. I'll stick to the dating business, though. All right, we'll see, see you around. around. I'm sure you'll come in handy. I have a feeling we're going to get her to date Abraham Lincoln, and that's going to be the, the pool for this. If Abraham Lincoln is actually in this based on the title, and she's looking for someone tall with a little bit of history, Whee! well, that would be the descriptor for him. Go we'll talk to Bosco real quick, and we'll go in our office, and we'll give a call over to that cell phone or that pay phone. What the? Really? Hey, a free home delivery sign. Uh, the sign's not free. Oh. Uh, oh, my book is. Hey, Hugh. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know I'm who you are. Buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Yeah. Who has that kind of time? <laughs> What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about prismatology! Oh, okay. The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being. Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Esperanto. Hooray! Are the books selling well? 
Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't mm, uh... sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. What was your book about again? Emetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? It's about everything and nothing at all. Oh. <laughs> All right, seems useless then. All right, but for What's real. What's this prismatology nonsense really about? All it is is the total reawakening of mind, body, and spirit in a rainbow of true bliss. Ah. I'm hmm. really excited. Uh huh. And how do we do that? Okay, simply focus on the orange at the core of your spirit. Okay. No, wait. Okay, now. Shift your consciousness to the ultraviolet. <laughs> Doing that? Mix it with the indigo of your imagination and then let it slide down the rainbow of your hopes and dreams. Wow, mm. I can't believe it was so simple. <laughs> Sounds like it's really complex. All right, well, we'll deal with this guy. Stay I can also make him change colors, so we don't need to do that, though, I don't think yet, so... I'm starting to believe his action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, huh. at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. <laughs> Purcell attacked by two headed monkey. See, Purcell's the guy who created Beyond these guys. Mafia owned casino destroyed by mysterious explosion. But mysterious? I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. Sometimes blowing something up is its own reward, pal. Tibetan monk. Uh. Clam bake ends in riot. Novelty gumballs, shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Ooh. Will your friends annoy your grandparents? Let's see what you got for us today, Bosco. He's so critical to everything we do. What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, uh, greetings, comrade. <laughs> Russian today, huh? Rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I'm Vladimir <laughs> Ilyevich Baskovorsky, Russian Baskovsky. proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience. No? No. no. But now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. All right. What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrades. I work with your American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know. Okay. They know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So well, why would you choose to be Russian? I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching mm -hmm. and judging my every move. Yeah, that wouldn't be me. That's me, Max. Oh. <laughs> Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um, just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? He's the people, comrades. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come there, right. victory workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No. That's a lot of bullshit. True. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. <clears throat> oh, okay. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet. Yeah. We are strong like bear against attack. I'm working on modifying BTAS part D. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So Not now a bad anyone idea. can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? It's small price to pay for freedom. That's true. It is well. Hmm. We want to buy something. Da is evil but necessary private enterprise. What, what do you today? got? 
is most glorious invention, comrade. Is useful for how you say questioning. Mm. Questioning. Is true, sir. That's how you say it. Makes easy, even the most difficult, how you say, interrogation. Interrogation. True serum. Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already <laughs> working. <laughs> How much? We'd like that truth serum, Comrade Boscovich. Is good. Price is 867.5309 oh. rubles. How much is that in real money? Yeah. $100 million. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boscovich. Yeah, I'll say. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. All right. Isn't that a little pricey for truth serum? Is Everything he does is par it pricey. It really does work, and I haven't even tried it yet. Sam, this morning I used your toothbrush. Results are guaranteed. I used it to clean out my ears. This is refreshingly liberating. Besides, <laughs> I, I need even the money to complete my satellite defense system. I guess. I needed to clean out my ears because I've been rummaging through. Okay, I've heard enough. Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. Yet. Do you have any souvenir snow globes from the mystery vortex? Yet. Yes. That's uh, actually a thing from the previous Sam and Max game as well. Sam and Max hit the road. The Mystery Vortex Snow Globes. Do you have any Lobster Fots brand cereal? Yet. Lobster Fots. <laughs> Do you have any Tagalog rhyming dictionaries abridged? Yet. Uh, oh, man. Do you have any wiener cozies? Da. We just get shipment of those in this week. Let me look. Oh, boy. Wait. Did you say wiener cozy? I thought you said Navajo blankets. No, we're all out of wiener cozy. Dang. All right. Nothing for us right now. Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. What other customers? What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Well. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. <laughs> I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friends. Mm. See you later, Bosco. Is no Bosco, comrade. Is only loyal worker Boskovorsky, who is no threat Boskovorsky. to glorious American government whatsoever. Of course. I don't think he would be. Are these weenies beef or pork? Or woolly mammoth meat? 100% all natural ingredients. Age to perfection. Yeah, all natural ingredients is all it says. That's all he says. Alright, man. I don't know what else, uh... I'll be doing here, so we'll end up coming back and picking up that truth serum. I'm sure it's going to help us in some kind of debate or something like that, because this is a political type episode, so. We'll get back to the uh, part of our, um, our office, should I say, and call this 1984 number. I find that funny. Alrighty. I don't think we're gonna have much new stuff going on, and he's out of town, rat hole wise. Anybody home? Nope, because he's on vacation. Guess not. But we should have yet another souvenir. Yes. Oh, we got Leonard. It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh How you my doing, goodness. Good, good. <laughs> I don't fucking think I feel. <laughs> Get me out of here, come on. No, you're a souvenir now, buddy, sorry. Let's check out the TV, see if they've got anything for us. They always seem to have new information. My fellow Americans, what we must the hell? to live life to the fullest and keep joy in our hearts. To that end, I have introduced mandatory psychological examinations to guarantee that all citizens meet the minimum required level of joy and goodwill. He's like a kinder, gentler Mussolini. I guess. 
He looks like he's a puppet. Literally, though. Got an answer machine message. Huh? Oh yeah, he did deliver. That's right. Who are you calling, Sam? Ghostbusters. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Meets pizza. pizza. Two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. I didn't even know oh, we yeah. could do that before. Well, same to you, jerk. Won't what let me have. Say? Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> Who are you calling, Sam? I would call the White House. The White House. Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh, good job, then. Hmm. I bet you we can get him. We gotta figure out a way to get Who are him. You calling, Sam? White House. Let me White check House. these options again. Ah, there we go. I'll make him hold. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure gonna be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Oh, Hello. perfect. Is anyone there? Now, if he's dumb enough, we should be able to get ourselves into the president's office by utilizing his uh, over-attentiveness. Let's get back into DeSoto, go back to the U.S., to the White House. Where are we going, Sam? The White House. We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! Awesome. He's so dumb. <laughs> now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So, in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Oh, Dad, yep, on, there he is. And good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. Yep, he's, he's hypnotized too. A caffeine addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. And I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. Yeah, like everyone else. God dang it. He's not a puppet. By then. the whiskey soaked well, beard of Ulysses S. Grant. Sort of. That's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's not going to be as easy oh, as we no. thought then. All right, well, this seems like a good stopping point as I got into this moment here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and if you are, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and... Um, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'll be putting new videos out. And if you're interested in helping out the channel, check out patreon.com slash ASRG where your donations to my channel will help me continue this work as well as uh, get you free uh, Steam keys and drawings I do every month. So other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video and have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.